What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. A while back, and you might have heard about it, Bloomberg wrote an article about how Twitch was going to revamp their monetization scheme. In short, they plan to offer more incentives for streamers to run more ads and also scale back the amount of money streamers made from subscriptions and memberships. Currently, it's a 70-30 cut in favor of the streamer, although Twitch plans for it to be 50-50 which would obviously reduce the amount of money that streamers would get. In return, they'll let streamers go live on other platforms, like YouTube for example, whereas previously they had partnered streamers sign exclusivity deals. So let's see, more ads causing more disturbances for the viewer and less money for the streamer. Who wins here? Well, Twitch, maybe, but all they're really doing is giving another reason for streamers to hightail it to a different platform. So I mean, you could argue that not even Twitch is winning in this instance. Said it before, and I'll say it again. Twitch is a joke of a website. They operate under the idea that they're the only streaming service worth paying attention to, even though YouTube really ain't that far behind. Hell, I'd say YouTube is a much better place for a would-be streamer to get their start. New streamers on Twitch never get big, we all know this, but you do have a fighting chance on YouTube because you can upload videos which can net you new viewers and if you're lucky they'll funnel into your live streams and podcasts. Regardless, this update hasn't been going over too well with the online community. Slimesticle says, no one hates Twitch streamers quite as much as Twitch, LMAO. Boys, it's official, the Tubnet funds are gone. Please do not do this, everyone. We are going to take even more of your revenue, but the good news is, you can just stream somewhere else. And of course, you have Pokimane weighing in. In my opinion, Twitch should just implement ads that don't directly interfere with a stream. Sidebar, picture in picture, underlay, etc. I understand advertisers are essential to make a platform profitable, but intervening with the viewer's experience isn't how they should go about it. Linus responds to this in a now deleted post, those ads are barely profitable for a text based site. They've been pretty much worthless since 2010. Unless you can pretty much guarantee the viewer can't ignore it, it does nothing for the advertiser, so why would they pay for it? And I'll say it makes sense. If I was an advertiser with a company, I was paying for ad space, I'd want it to be in your face, right? I wouldn't want the viewer to be able to X out of it right away. I'm sure that's what most of us do. We see a banner ad on something like YouTube, we click out of it right away. We don't read it or anything. I'd probably want a video ad, cause you'd at least have to watch 5 seconds of it. The viewer is kinda forced to, right? And, just to be clear, this exchange happened on April 27th. This isn't like anything new. On April 29th, Linus elaborated on this tweet on his WAN show. I think it's his podcast or something. Pokimane then gets informed by it by a viewer and reacts to it herself. I didn't. Can someone TLDR? Or actually, maybe I could find it. I saw a really terrible take from a Twitch creator that was like, Twitch should just have okay. ads that are totally non-intrusive. So, Linus doesn't mention her specifically, but it's obvious he's talking about Pokimane. I suppose you could say he's being a little mean because he's kind of putting on a sort of mocking tone of voice. Nothing really bad about it. Like, to the viewer, like, their ads should just, like, not be intrusive. And I was looking at it going, and so, I feel like this is another one of those situations where I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna say, well, yeah, what, what did you think was gonna happen? Do you have any idea how much Twitch costs to run? And do you, do you think that banner, like static banner ads on a website are going to pay for it? <laughs> I promise you, I give you my personal Linus Tech Tips guarantee that unintrusive ads are not going to pay for a site like Twitch, no matter how many of them they plastered on the page. Unintrusive ads don't pay for the forum. Because, <laughs> because no advertiser is going to pay for an unintrusive ad because they don't work, because they don't call your attention away. Obviously. Again, he's kind of going hard in the paint here, but I don't think it's anything to get too upset over. All in all, he's just giving his two cents about the situation and why what Pokimane and many others suggest just wouldn't really work. I will say, Linus is getting pretty worked up over something that really ain't worth getting worked up over. You can kind of hear him raising his voice progressively as the thing goes on. I wonder, like, why's all this getting to him? The way he talks about it, you'd think he has, like, an investment in Twitch, like a stake or something. My, my no offense, no offense, whoever does not understand how web advertising works, even though it's like how they actually make a living. Sorry, I'm doing a job. Oh, you're talking about the, cargo, uh, the, 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 revenue, the red split. Oh, yeah, they're doomed. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're losing money on a 50 50 red split. If everyone else is still doing 70 30, then they're completely screwed. As for having creators push more ads, um, yeah, I mean, that's. Um, 
that that's just normal. That just needs to happen because banner ads, no, are not going to do it. Sorry, nameless um, creator. And probably more than one creator. I don't even think that's a controversial take in that community because there were like tens of thousands of- Man, this face reminds me of like when you're about to cry, but you don't want people to know that you're about to cry, so you make like a weird face to try and hide it. I mean, look at that. You can tell she got hit right in the ego. Direct hit, clean through. I'll say this here because a lot of people seem to say, wow, this is Linus insulting Pokemane, calling her a nobody. I don't think that was the intent. I think he just wanted to keep Pokemane's name out of his mouth to make sure that no one in his audience would, like, go and harass Pokemane. It's obvious he's not saying it in a mocking sort of way. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, I think it's really odd because clearly they're talking about me. And if you're going to talk about a tweet that I made, why do you need to say nameless creator? Just, just say my name. People are going to figure it out anyways. Yeah, just say my name so I can get all mad and upset about it, which I'll inevitably do because, well, it's Pokemane and she gets mad at dumb stuff. Again, the reason Linus didn't name you was to prevent anyone from going to you or your streams to harass you or raid you. I'm sure he certainly didn't want to start any drama either. You gotta find it funny how she complains that Linus didn't name her directly, because I'd put money on it if he did. If Linus said Pokemane has no idea what she's talking about, she'd play the victim so hard in typical Pokemane fashion. And so Secondly, I saw a really terrible take from a Twitch creator that was like, Twitch should just have ads that are totally not intrusive. Like, to the viewer, like, their ads should just, like, not be intrusive. And I was like, and wh why are you using that voice when quoting me? To be completely honest, it's just really hurtful to see, because... I mean, Linus is someone that I really respect. I respect all the content he's made on YouTube. Oh god, she's going down that road. Like, you notice people do stuff like this to make themselves seem sympathetic. Wow, I used to like this YouTuber, but now they're being mean to me. It's old, man. It's old. And really, are you gonna start complaining that he's using a mocking tone of voice? How old are you? Seriously, grow up. But also, even in regards to the points that they make, I understand that banner ads and other types of advertising that are less intrusive are perhaps not as effective. But that doesn't discount my initial point, which is that, at least in my opinion, Really, really terrible ad systems will impact whether or not people want to use Twitch way more than the profit split that a user gets. But you're not really disproving Linus here. Your point is that the ad system on Twitch is so bad that Twitch is more likely to lose users from the ads than the revenue split from subscriptions. But if that's true, why haven't we seen that already? Why haven't we already seen a mass exodus from Twitch over frustrations from ads? Look, it's as simple as simple can get. What Linus is saying makes more sense than what Pokemon is saying. Video ads bring in more money and are worth the risk of alienating some users because banner ads are just not worth the price you pay for them. They just don't bring in the bread. And again, if what Pokemon is saying was true, Twitch's numbers would be a lot more volatile. Also, people love to talk about 50-50 sub revenue on Twitch, but oh my god, it's 70-30 on YouTube. YouTube makes the large majority of their money off ads not off of their subscription model, so obviously it's easier for them to be a little more lenient in that regards. Well, no. YouTube, the company, doesn't make that much money off of either. What we've got to understand here is that YouTube is first and foremost a data collection agency. The complex algorithms on the website aren't just for getting you to your favorite YouTuber. They're also for understanding what you like and don't like, so that they can sell that information to companies who are hoping for more effective ad campaigns. So, that's how YouTube makes money. They take your data, and they sell it. I think it's just insane that people who are trying to like show they have a leg up business-wise in comparison to my silly Twitter wham and take. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Leave it to Pokemane to make it a gender thing. At no point did Linus say anything to suggest that Pokemane said anything that she said because she's a woman and therefore has no business sense. This is a narrative that only she's crafted, although I won't delve too far into it. It's a throwaway line, but it's funny nevertheless. Like, there are so many other facets that you guys are missing out on. Especially the fact that, you know what, even if Twitch only did 50-50 models um, for subscriptions, live streaming on YouTube for any small creator is near impossible. You don't see thousands of people making a living at 100 to 1,000 viewers on YouTube like you do on Twitch. You've gotta love how Pokemon makes fun of Linus for not understanding business and then goes on to further demonstrate how she doesn't understand business. You can't make a living off of YouTube streaming. Well, okay, it might be harder to make a living off purely streaming streaming on YouTube, but you still have a chance to build a platform on YouTube. It's like I said earlier, new streamers on Twitch never make it big. It's just impossible. YouTube, on the other hand, it can be done. Like I said earlier, you can use videos to attract people to your channel, and then hopefully that funnels people into your live streams. So no, I don't think it's going to kill it. I do think that both of those ch those changes in conjunction are not great, but at the end of the day, my point was not like 
<laughs> my point was not that intrusive ads suck. I'm just saying like maybe that's not the way to go about it. So how about you just take my point for what it is, a decent one that is true on behalf of about every single user that watches live streams and instead suggest an alternative that maybe isn't banner ads? You gotta love the confidence she has. I really don't know why she thinks she has a point here. Everything I've seen up to this point just tells me that she don't got a leg to stand on. But it just makes me sad because like, I don't know, this is someone that I thought was really cool and for them to speak about my opinion, which only comes from the perspective of a viewer and someone who knows how annoyed other viewers are by the current ad system and who was simply suggesting an alternative. Instead, he kind of just like, yeah. Again, you really see what she's doing here. I really like this person, but now they're being mean to me. That is manipulative, and at this point, I'm just gonna have to be bad faith and assume that that's the intention. She pulls stuff like this way too often for it to just be a throwaway thing. At this point, I just have to assume that she's saying it all for sympathy. Man, and I was, I was just watching a Linus video the other day that he made about, I think the Tesla Y model. And I was like, oh my god, this video is shot so well. And then I just see him talking about me like that. And even if you're going to disagree with my opinion, I just wish they weren't as rude or hurtful. Rude and hurtful. As if he was being rude and hurtful in the first place. He used a mocking tone of voice and deconstructed your points with a slightly mean vocabulary. If you think Linus was rude and hurtful, that's on you, buddy. I really don't understand how an online entertainer who deals with people on an everyday basis runs a business on top of that. Can't stand it when someone's just the least bit mean to him. Like if you're gonna make a living off of online entertainment, you've gotta learn how to handle situations where people are being rude. For God's sake, the title of this video alone is probably meaner than everything Linus did here combined. I think it wasn't meant hurtful. I think it's really hard for me to hear someone mock my voice like that and then also refuse to say my name when very clearly talking about me and not be hurt by that. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. I'm just saying how I feel. Again, how old are you? If someone making a mocking tone in regards to you is quote unquote hurtful, get off the internet. Who knows, some of us might even be sad to see you go. Seriously, this is pathetic. I mean, you see what goes down in the commentary community. Everyone's just flinging all sorts of crap at each other. No one bats an eye. We revel in it, in fact. But someone talks about Pokemon on stream. Way, way, way. He's being so hurtful, guys. Have pity on me, the millionaire. Because, you know, I can't assume someone's intention. And if he came out and he was like, oh, I didn't think much of it and I didn't mean to be hurtful, then maybe. And maybe he didn't say my name because um, he didn't want people attacking me for it. I'm not really sure. She is so close to getting it. My God, she is so close. Okay, wait, one last thing. Do you guys think it's weird if I just reply to Linus on Twitter? I think that's better than just saying stuff on stream. And that is what brings us to this. There was a Twitter exchange between Linus and Pokimane, which happened recently. Pokimane actually got so butthurt, she wrote this wall of text talking about a fragile ego. I won't read most of it. It covers ground that we've already tread on. She goes into detail about how she thinks Twitch should be run, and how ads should be implemented, all that. It's still dumb. It reads like someone who wants you to think that they know about business, but in reality, no jack all. She mentions how she felt hurt by it, which for the third time, it's pathetic. She again tries to play the sympathy card at the end where she's all like, I used to like watching you, uh, it's a great betrayal, yada yada, okay, cool, whatever. And then Linus comes in with a whole thread, I'm not gonna delve into it, I hate going through walls of text, and it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. He apologizes for using the valley girl voice, I guess, and that's really it. If you really care, I'll just throw up the tweets on screen, feel free to read them for yourself. Pokemon ends off with, appreciate the kind of reply, apology, and elaborating on your points, smiley face. I can see how my tweet could seem misinformed, but but I was just being short. I'm also someone who's typically more biased towards Twitch, so stirring up anger is far from my MO. Will DM to continue convo. Man, I didn't know it was possible for an online Twitter post to make me gag. Overall, this whole thing is just a pathetic display on the side of Pokimane. The fact that she made such a huge overreaction over the ordeal tells me all I need to know. Her arguments are too weak to go on par with Linus's, so she has to play victim. Pokimane's got upset over some pretty petty stuff before, but this just takes the cake. As for Linus, I can't blame him for taking the L 
and apologizing. The Gaza Tech Channel, not a drama one. He just wants to keep a clean image and collect sponsorship money. Can't really do that with an oversensitive drama queen prodding at ya. For be it for me to insert gender into this, but for all the complaining Pokemon does about sexism in the industry, I guarantee you right now, if a guy did the same things Pokemon did, if he had acted the same way that she did, he'd be laughed out of the industry. Rightfully so. God, you know what we need? We need a woman who's just as petty as Pokemon. You ever realize anytime Pokemon gets into drama, it's always with a dude? She has that edge, she can always play the old sexism card. What we need is a woman just as petty as Pokemon, just as much of a drama queen. See what happens when she meets her match. Well, if anything, this is just another thing to add to the pile. Pokemon, man, what a drama queen. A pathetic one at that. That's all I've got for this stick. Now you guys do old Jackie favor and keep it groovy. Thank you, thank you very much.